Good morning, and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Jaden Miller. And I'm Cam Adrano. Students currently enrolled in Project Lead the Way Biomed could receive honors credits for this semester. According to PLTW teacher Aaron Granucci, plans are currently in consideration to allow PLTW courses to receive honors credit in order to better reflect the course's difficulty. We just feel that the rigor and the, the content that the kids are getting in all the courses is um, very advanced. Um, and so before, it's just been an elective course. Um, and now, with honors credit, um, it would also be recognized um, you know, for that grade bump and for what the, the kids are actually doing in here. If the program switches to honors credit, students who took the courses in the past could possibly receive credit as well. Senior Savannah Madler wishes the change was made earlier so it could help her when entering college. Since I'm a senior and I'm not getting the grade bump, it's kind of disappointing because this class is putting in hours of homework every night and since I'm going into the medical field, it would put me ahead in college if it was weighted, so it's kind of disappointing. Greenucci believes they should implement the change at a district level so all students throughout RJUHSD receive the same credit for PLTW courses. It is something that we don't want to just do as Roseville um, because you do have Antelope students who also have um, PLTW courses um, and there are a couple of PLTW um, programs on other campuses. So we want to make sure that all of our students in the district um, are eligible for this um, and uh, I think it just helps um, the district as a whole. In addition to college credit, student and Project Lead the Way classes in the future will be able to receive college credit for courses. This Friday, student government will host the Pink Out Rally. In addition, this Thursday will also feature an extended lunch schedule. We now go to Natalie Russell with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Tuesday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Natalie Russell. Last Thursday, the girls varsity volleyball team hosted the Bella Vista Broncos for their senior night. It was an emotional night for both the graduating seniors and their teammates. The seniors honored on that night were Kylie Fang, Michaela Lira, Alyssa Espley, Madison Janey, Hannah Melchner, and Haley Sardi. I'm sad, but I'm really excited to like move on and start a new chapter of my life with like new people and new experiences. And that's all on your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Recently, two very popular artists dropped singles, one in Anderson Pox Tints and the other with 6 9 Stupid. Starting with the best of the two, Anderson Pox Tints is absolutely incredible. Out of the three singles he's dropped this year, this one is by far the best. The kind of blend between funk and hip hop is so nice and just sounds awesome. Kendrick Lamar also has a verse on this track, and it may be one of my favorite verses of his that I have ever heard. Pac also just announced his newest album, Oxnard, which was edited by his mentor, Dr. Dre, and just based off of Dre's record, this album is going to be amazing. Its release is scheduled for November 16th, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Next, 6 9 song, Stupid. This song pretty much follows the track of other 6 9 songs and really doesn't stand out that much in his pantheon. However, the one thing from this song that does stand out is the feature from Bobby Shmurda. Shmurda has been in prison for five years, so to get his verse, they recorded a phone call from prison and put it in the song. The creativeness of this is just so quintessentially 6 9 While this verse doesn't have the best audio, it does get me hyped for Shmurda's release in 2020, and I am, can almost guarantee that he will drop a sequel to his last album. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Jackson. Last Friday, culinary students cooked up meals for the homeless. Last Friday, senior Brooke Bowensay's family expanded their tradition of aiding the homeless through RHS's culinary program. This started like three years ago with my mom, and at first it started off with just jackets, donating jackets to the gathering in, and then it started as us making food at home and delivering it to them because it's, this is for their homeless shelter. And I started taking culinary myself, so my mom thought it was a good idea if my culinary uh, class would make the food and then we would take it and deliver it to them so the school can get involved and we have a little bit more sponsorship with it. Advanced culinary student Oliver Phillips enjoyed reaching out to the community. I hope it brings some comfort and just a sense of open arms from the community because we're always there to help. This was the program's first time serving food for the gathering in. And that's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.